It is the birthday of today's poet, were he not dead? And so to celebrate, I ask my friend and mentor, Craig Churry, who introduced me to this poet initially, to suggest something from the body of work. Craig has given me this from the poet's collection, Labyrinths. Borges and I by Jorge Luis Borges Translated by James E. Irby The other one the one called Boris, is the one things happen to. I walk through the streets of Buenos Aires and stop for a moment, perhaps mechanically now, to look at the arch of an entrance hall and the grill work on the gate. I know of Boris from the mail and see his name on a list of professors, or in a biographical dictionary. I like hourglasses, maps, 18th century topography, the taste of coffee, and the prose of Stevenson. He shares these preferences, but in a vain way that turns them into the attributes of an actor would be an exaggeration to say that ours is a hostile relationship. I live, let myself go on living, so that Borges may contrive his literature, and this literature justifies me. It is no effort for me to confess that he has achieved some valid pages, but those pages cannot save me. Perhaps because... What is good belongs to no one, not even him, but rather to the language and to tradition. Besides, I am destined to perish, definitively, and only some instant of myself can survive in him. Little by little, I am giving over everything to him though I am quite aware of his perverse custom of falsifying and magnifying things. Spinoza knew that all things long to persist in their being. The stone eternally wants to be a stone, and the tiger a tiger. I shall remain in Borges, not in myself. If it is true that I am someone but I recognize myself less in his books than in many others, or in the laborious strumming of a guitar. Years ago I tried to free myself from him, and went from the mythologies of the suburbs to the games with time and infinity. But those games belong to Boris now, and I shall have to imagine other things. Thus my life is a flight, and I lose everything, and everything belongs to oblivion, or to him. I do not know which of us has written this page. Borges and I, by Jorge Luis Borges Translated by James E. Irby. Please use those links. Give me a like, a share, a subscribe if you wish. Never ask Craig Churry for a short poem. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow.